today we got ourselves a box opening of the Ryobi 18 inch circuit saw with laser. So first on the front, just got the saw. Um, it is 18 volts. Um, it is the Ryobi uh, one plus system. So the batteries are really good in that system. Um, in the back here, uh, some specifications. So the battery again is 18 inch. Uh, the blade size is five and a half inch. Uh, the arbor size is 10 millimeters. Speed of the, the saw is 4700 RPM. Uh, depth of cut is 1 inch and 9 sixteenths at 90 degrees. And then depth of cut for 45 degrees is 1 inch and 1 eighth. So what that means is if you're cutting the piece of wood this way, it's technically uh, the 1 and 9 sixteenths. Um, and if you're cutting a piece of wood at a 45 degree angle, then that would be at one and one eighth, okay? And the last thing here is tool weight is 4.7 pounds. This box is actually really light. Um, I haven't added the actual battery to it yet because I guess it's inside, but the, the um, saw itself is very, very light, okay? So let's crack it open. Now again, I just wanna reiterate that this saw does not come with any battery or charger, so you have to have a uh, an existing Ryobi One Plus system, either a drill or some other system. Um, so that's make sure you have one of those before you purchase this saw. Let's open this up. All right. Okay. Not much in the box. Let's see here. So what do we got here? Piece of cardboard. Instructions and looks like that's your blade right there. Okay. And then we got the saw. Okay. Inside and the box. That's it. Box is empty. Let's just put this on the side. Okay, so what did we see first? Okay, so you got Ryobi on the front on the side here. The there's your adjustment here for I believe that's your unlock here. So this would be technically changing the angle of your cut. Okay, so there is a little thumb screw on the front here and one on the back. Okay, so this is your plastic piece here. That's your protection from the blade. Once it cuts, it opens up, and then once you're done cutting, so it protects your hands from the blade. Um, we got a little ruler on here um, on what you need. Uh, this side here, that's where the battery goes. Now, again, I do have another Ryobi system. So I'm going to use this battery from from the actual drill um, for the actual saw. Okay. So that basically just snaps into there, and there's a saw here. Okay. Just pull that out for now. Uh, what else we got here? So it looks pretty um, smooth on the bottom side here. Uh, I can see that's where the laser is going to come out, okay, and there should be a wrench here, okay, so here, so on the back here, you got an Allen wrench, okay, so with this Allen wrench, there should be a way to lock the tool, I haven't looked at instructions yet, uh, let's see here, on this side, this probably locks it, no, that's through these, should be a lock here somewhere. Okay, so I'll have to look it up in the instruction book how that is. Oh, here it is. There you go, on this side here. Okay, so the inside of the saw is a lock. Let me just, in this, there you go, okay. So when you're changing the blade, I might as well put on the blade now, actually. It's a how-to at the same time. Okay. So here's my blade. Okay, so on there you can see Ryobi. So this one here, this is a five and a half inch blade, okay? It's five and a half inch and has 18 teeth, okay? So if you're cutting two by fours and any kind of rough pieces of wood, this would do fine. If you want something more fine, uh, then you want something with a little more teeth. And I did actually pick up a different blade. Let's see here. I picked up this blade here. This blade actually has 100 teeth, okay? Uh, I don't have to open it out of the box. Actually, here, let's do that right now. Anyways. Okay, so if I open up this one, I'll show you what the difference on the blades are. 
Okay, so you can see the difference on the blades, right? So this one has 18 teeth, this one has 100 teeth, okay? So this one will give you a lot more fine cut. And this one's mainly good for um, OSB or plywood, okay? Because it does a much more finer cut, but you have to also be careful not cutting anything too thick because it will all start burning the wood, okay? So you want uh, that, in that case, you want the one with the bigger teeth. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna actually put in the default uh, Ryobi one, see how that works, and later on I could always switch it to the one which is a little bit more finer. Okay. So what do we do here? Okay, so again, to change the blade, push the button on the inside here. Okay. So you push the button, and then you can use the Allen wrench. What I'm doing the Allen wrench, put it inside here. It should be able to unscrew it. Okay. Just gonna unscrew that. Okay. And there's a little. Right there, and that's it. Okay, so there's another piece here. So there's two pieces here. There's a kind of like a little placement part there. Okay, then what we want to do is open that up. Okay, and then there's a the blade there. Okay, and then we're gonna put this back on. Okay, and then there's two ways to put this. This side has um, some writing on it to tighten turn this way. So it has a little um, counterclockwise uh, arrow here. So you want to make sure that's to the outside and the flash part where part where it's really flat it goes to the blade. Okay. And it does have a flat part on one side and the other side so it only fit one way. Okay. So if I put, try to put it a different way it doesn't want to go in. If I align it properly now it fits properly. Okay. So you want to do that. And then we take the screw, the Allen wrench Screw it back on. Oops. Make sure we got it here. There you go. Okay. Okay. So it's counterclockwise to tighten it up. Follow the arrow, right? For sure. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. If I'm trying to tighten this, okay, you can see it's spinning around. Again, you have to make sure that you press this button on the inside here to lock the saw. So if you notice I'm spinning, spinning, spinning. If I try to press this button, it doesn't want to go all the way in. But if it gets to a certain point, it'll lock itself. Okay? And now it, the actual blade doesn't want to spin, okay? So I'm just gonna put the wrench in there, tighten it up a little bit more. There you go. Okay, now when you're tightening it up, don't over tighten it. You just want it enough just so it's tight. Okay, that's good. We're gonna take the wrench, and just so next time you need the wrench, it's available. Throw the wrench back in the saw. It's a good idea. Then it's you know it's out of the way, but it's always there, easy to use, right? Next time. Okay, so the blade is on. What I'm gonna do? I should open this up, and I'm just gonna spin this to make sure that it doesn't bind on anything. Just in case you put the blade on, maybe crooked or something. So you just wanna. Look in here, so okay, everything's all nicely aligned. Now notice one thing, I don't have a battery in there, right? Safety first, always leave the battery out when you're changing the blade. Okay, so, okay, seems all good. I can close that up, okay, now it looks all good. Okay, so now, now I don't have a piece of wood here, I'm not gonna cut anything, because it's my uh, little home inside workshop. I'll take it down to the garage and test it out, maybe I'll do a, a uh, you know, little tutorial how to cut a piece of wood with a saw but for the time being what I want to do is basically just throw in the battery to a quick spark up okay so that clicks in there right now watch the blade now if I try to pull the trigger it doesn't work okay so we have to do a little safety lock oh look at that there's an actual laser here I'll show it look see you got a laser on my shirt right now you don't want to cut yourself so point it toward the table but that's really neat because you can actually if you're cutting something here's my blade I'm put the laser on it oh maybe a little bit too dark uh what do i have here that i could show you on here there's a wire so i wanted to cut this for instance here's my laser i don't know if you can see it in the video there's my laser there and technically then i can cut through right again there's a laser so that's a really neat feature with these Ryobi saws is they do come with the laser which is really neat because you know exactly what you're going to be cutting so it's a lot easier to get a straighter cut okay all right okay so 
All good. Hold safety. Ooh, nice saw. Sounds really good. It's actually not that loud. I thought it was going to be a lot louder. Okay, you can see it in the video again. Check it out. Very, very nice. I like this. Okay, it's got the handle here so it can do nice, good cuts. I like the sound of the saw. It's actually a lot quieter than I thought. It sounds very professional. Here, try it again. Ready? Awesome. This is an awesome saw. I'm going to use this a lot. Okay? So again, safety, take out the battery, then you can hold the trigger, nothing happens. Now one thing you do want to note is that it does say on the box, but the laser actually uses the battery that you use for the drill. So if the battery's not in there, laser's not going to show. So that basically means that you don't have to have any double laser or any other batteries you have to charge. It all comes from this one over here. So as soon as I plug this in, you can see the laser shows up on the actual uh, table or whatever you're going to actually cut. So easy, easy, easy. Okay. So again, pull out the battery. It's all good there. Okay. So there you go. There's the box opening for this Ryobi uh, five and a half inch saw. Um, I will test it out, see how it works. But as far as right now, I, I really like it. It's the, the, the grip here is really good. Um, this is made of some kind of rubber here, so it's actually very, very well uh, done. Good grip here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much to it. Um, what else do we have here? Okay, so one thing to note, okay, so here's how that works. Okay, so I made a mistake here. So, okay, so the front here, this unlocks this piece here, and then you can do your angled cuts, okay? Okay, that's what that does. I'll lock that up. But in the back, this is actually your depth gauge. So in the back here, there is a depth gauge. So if I unlock this, I should be able to pull it out. Oh, there you go, see? So you can change the depth of what you're cutting. So for instance, I want to cut something that's really low. I could just do it like that. And now I'm cutting. You're only cutting about that much. So at this point, this would be uh, looking at about... Let's see here. Okay, so it's one inch, three quarters, inch and a half. Okay, so when the deeper it goes, the higher it cuts, the lower it goes, the less it cuts. Okay, so right now it's about half inch. Okay, so there's there's a little scale here in the back that shows you what the actual depth you're cutting at. Okay, so right now in here, as you can see in the camera there, it's basically at um, half an inch. So if I was cutting something and I don't want to go too deep, that I can actually cut it at, at this point, it's a half an inch, okay? Because that's what I have it set in the back. If I want to actually make it the full depth, I just pull it in all the way, lock it up, okay? Now it's locked, and now I'm cutting the full depth wherever the saw can handle, okay? Now, this is a small blade. It's only five and a half inch. Um, for me, it's perfect because I'm right now I'm just doing some small projects, and I just want something that's really easy, light. You know, cut some uh, pieces of wood, and that's pretty much it. Later on, I might look at a bigger one. But I guess for uh, the time being, awesome saw. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I can say. Well, that's it for another video. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the next video.